This is Sarai, and she just got robbed on Copacabana Beach in broad daylight when she took a photo. I was here, and then this man ran so fast over there, here. We'll show you how to stay safe at the beaches of Rio de Janeiro without getting your things stolen. One lifeguard today, but there wasn't a lifeguard the day my phone got stolen. Yes, this is how you don't end up like us. Copacabana is one of the world's most famous beaches, but it's also a place a lot of people end up with less things than they came with. All right, guys, welcome to yet another of these crazy one video for every day of the week in Rio. The crazy things you do to get followers, eh? And we're not doing this alone. Joining us is a freshly baked beach victim. Hey, how are you? Hi. All right, I'm standing here with a very famous Instagram profile and soon to be a huge YouTuber. Well, not huge, obviously, <laughs> but you know. Hi guys, my name is Sarai Rebus, and uh, today we're gonna do a video basically about like the tips you need to know when you come to a beach. My phone was stolen recently, and I decided to contact Swedish Green Go, and I know we have a similar experience, so tune in. Yeah, you see, already a true YouTube professional. <laughs> I'll say it straight away, do not be scared of visiting the beach in Rio, but if you bring anything of value, you need to know this. Oh, I can't see your screen. Okay. Today I wanted to talk to you about what happened to me in this beautiful beach called Copacabana Beach. These are things you need to know before you actually enter Copacabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro. My first hand experience actually being here was, I'm there with my uh, selfie stick and my iPhone, just casually recording when I realized that there is a man, like probably like a six foot three man, a really big man, you know, just going behind me and he just went ahead and just snatched my phone and broke the selfie stick and I ran into the beach to go ahead and... Oh crap, that story seems way too familiar. <laughs> I'm sorry this happened to you. And it all happened here on the beach, right? Yes, it happened on the beach. It was, um, it was something that I was not expecting and I'm happy to have. Mr. Swedish Gringo joining me on my story time. My story was not nearly as crazy as Mr. Swedish Gringo's. No, you didn't get hit in the face at least. I did not get hit in the face. I did not get attacked. But being alone as a female solo traveler, I just have to warn my ladies out there that you always have to be accompanied with someone. Always look around and make sure that you watch Swedish Gringo's videos to help you learn what you have to do next. They have to understand though that Copacabana Beach is one of the most dangerous beaches. Do okay, you agree? I just want to say, when you say dangerous, it's one of the beaches where you're most likely to get your things stolen, but you will not get murdered. So you'll you get beat up, you'll get beat up. I mean, probability very low, but that's why we are here for you to not suffer the same consequences as we have. We're going to show you what to do to stay safe at the beach in Rio de Janeiro. I know, we've been over this before and it's not rocket science, but it's so easy to forget when you're sitting there all relaxed. Chicken, meat and sausage. Oh my god. That's chicken hearts. That is chicken hearts. But first things first, something's missing here. We are going to be getting some caipirinhas. Caipirinhas here are my favorite. And also, of course, I'm a Miami girl, so you can't miss my pina coladas. Pina colada? She's coming to Brazil and she's getting a pina colada. I was gonna get a caipirinha for the video. I don't believe this. I don't believe it. It's disappointing. I see this as a personal sign of disrespect. No. And obviously, safety tip number one on the beach, don't get drunk, especially if you're alone or with someone who can't really protect you. <laughs> Hold on, just gonna share this. I know what you're thinking. What's going on here? What is this guy doing here sitting with a cup of coffee when he should have a caipirinha? And you're right, I don't even like coffee. This was just to illustrate how cheap it is to stay fully protected online by the world's best VPN service. I've been using NordVPN for over a year now and these guys currently have an awesome deal. Four months extra when buying a two-year plan. 
for the price of one cup of coffee a month, you're safe from all the bad guys in cyberspace. You can fully enjoy browsing the internet without sharing your personal data, as well as saving money when booking flights. The built-in threat protection also blocks ads and trackers and scans downloads for all types of malware. And if you're not happy within 30 days, you get your money back. So skip this awful coffee and stay safe instead. Now let's get back to the Caipirinha. Never coffee again. And no, unfortunately, Caipirinha does not make you stronger. This guy knows what he's doing. I'm excited for my pina colada. Yes, things are high here, right? How many pina coladas would you say you've had in your life? I usually have probably like three every weekend back home in Miami, like every like weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So three a day. Three every weekend? That's a couple of hundred pina coladas. A couple of hundred pina coladas, and I, I will never regret it. Opa! Oh, obrigada! Oh, obrigada! Uh -huh. That thing right there is an abomination. <laughs> I'll have maybe a, a caipirinha later. It does look pretty tasty, and with great drinks come great responsibility. At least if you claim to be a decent photographer. I am never getting paid for this. And just to make my suffering even worse, I'm still waiting to get that caipirinha of mine served. So that was the uh, mandatory photo session. You're happy with the results? I love the results. He's an amazing photographer. And coming back to this beach, I had sort of like a traumatizing experience. He told me earlier today, Sarai, don't worry. You know, um, we need to get this fear away from you. And yeah, she needed to get back in the saddle. I know this feeling, you're feeling very lonely, isolated, yeah. starting to see ghosts everywhere. The fact is that Rio is not as dangerous as people think. So you just gotta shake that fear off once these things happen. It's time to start harassing people. Have they had a bad experience like me? We'll see. Pensa que Rio de Janeiro seguro no. Olha, seguro. Okay. No, no es seguro. Você pensa que Rio de Janeiro é seguro? Oh no. Depende, depende da ocasião. Em dias de fim de semana, na praia, não é muito seguro, mas hoje, por exemplo, tá tranquilo. Você teve uma mala experiência? Nunca tive. Mala experiência? Ah, nunca, nunca. 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 nunca tive. Nunca. Graças a Deus. Ah, ok. <risos> por que não? Porque é uma cidade muito grande, muitas coisas acontecem o tempo todo, muitas pessoas. Ficando atenta mesmo. Não, não, não se distrair tanto. Don't get distracted, be alert. É, é isso. Mas dá pra curtir. É seguro, é seguro, é seguro. Ela pensa que é seguro. É seguro. E você? Depende, na verdade. Volto a dizer. Depende? <risos> Sim. Ok, eu, eu tenho que ter muito mais cuidado. I have to be more careful, guys. É, é isso mesmo. Tem que tomar cuidado. É, é, não ficar andando com o telefone assim. Don't be on your cell phone. Don't é. show your cell phone. That's it? É, Always be with somebody. And also never have more than five caipirinhas. That's the limit. Oh my goodness! Beautiful hair! Another thing which I've already talked a little about is when you're buying drinks at the beach, go to guys you trust, buy it from the real established kiosks on the beach. Such as this one. Never ever get it from the guys walking around with pre-made drinks. Those drinks can contain things you're not supposed to be having in your body. Ah, ciao. Ah, that was a fast delivery. Tastes as good as it looks. Where the f was he running away? Cheers! Cheers! The caipirinha curse. The happier you get, the more likely you are to get robbed. Come on, be able to. Oh my god! 34 one, 50 for two. So, how do the robberies happen? Typically, a vendor will approach you while his accomplice takes your stuff. Bring your bag up in your lap when strangers start talking. So this is a typical situation. And remember, this is not all the vendors, but the scheme they work with is they approach you two by two. So always keep an extra eye open when the second vendor approaches. Okay, we're gonna have a little break here because it's arriving. Oh, it's, it's a second caipirinha for me, is it? <laughs> Oh, you want one too? I want one, so actually this one is mine. <laughs> I normally don't like sharing, but yeah, sure, she can have one. All right, starting to feel better now, getting over that stolen phone. I'm definitely getting over that stolen phone. I still wanted to 
to find the guy, to find the crook, but... Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! I don't wish the death on anyone, but I wish he would have learned his lesson. So a broken leg, that would be sufficient, right? That would have been great, that would have been great. And he will have a horrible smell until the day he becomes a good person. That is... <laughs> okay, that's also good. That is his curse. Oppa! Briga! Mmm! Second caipirinha, always the best. But seriously, if you plan to drink, don't bring any valuables. Not only does the alcohol make you less focused, thieves will also be looking for tourists hitting the booze. Okay guys, so I just found another carioca, which is a uh, Brazilian local. Rio de Janeiro, in your opinion, is seguro or no? I think Rio de Janeiro is a Assim, tem lugares que são perigosos e outros lugares que são seguros. Você tem que saber onde você está andando, com quem você está andando. É um lugar que tem o potencial de ser seguro, porque não é sempre que está acontecendo assaltos e assassinatos. E esses geralmente são casos que só estouram muito, mas não são a regra do Rio de Janeiro. Rafaela, ela parece muito profissional, não é? Fazer entrevistas como uma caipirinha. <risos> sim, claro que sim. Muito profissional. Eu, eu amei. Really carioca, which is like saying like I belong with the Brazilian culture. All right, in hindsight, is there anything you could have done differently when you got robbed? Maybe I would have told the friend that I was with to not leave my, my, my side. Don't be alone as a female Traveler, do not be by yourself. Number two, do not be so trusting with your belongings. I should not have been with my iPhone. Do not blind yourself. I think Copacabana just happens to be a beach that people just come here and they steal things more often. So it has a history behind it for a reason. If you want to just be more calm and less, uh, less guarded, just go to any of the beaches that I mentioned. Ipanema happens to be a little bit more safer. Leblon. Barra de Tijuca Beach. That, my friends, is just another day in Rio de Janeiro. Maybe time to pay for those caipirinhas. 10 reais. 10 reais, né? <laughs> nope, I gotta polish my bargaining skills a bit. So, I just know for a fact that Rio de Janeiro is a beautiful, beautiful area, but there could be so many things that could happen to you. So I just, I'm here to warn everyone that whenever you come to Brazil, you just have to be careful. And this is why it's so valuable getting friends in Rio. Making a friend here means getting double security or even more. Exactly. It's never really good to be alone, like I said. And so after hearing his story and after putting my story together and hearing many other stories from the individuals, the point is, it's just it's always better to be with someone and uh, you always just kind of have to make sure that your belongings are just attached to you. Maybe have a fanny pack or something that could keep your stuff like, like near you. And also be careful, have your eyes open, but don't be scared. You gotta be able to enjoy Rio as well. Exactly, it's not a war zone, but you also have to just come here prepared. That is right. That's it. If you like the video, please subscribe and support the channel. Thanks for watching and be safe.